everyone, it's Mia and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm a content creator living in London and I'm a student at Bath University as well. I love all things productivity, wellness, living my best life. So if you love the same, then make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for a motivational vlog. It's so fun for me to make content out of what I do every day, share my passions and hopefully inspire a few people. So thank you so much for being here and hope you enjoyed the video. Good morning and welcome to this productive day vlog. I have just gotten ready to go to the gym, but before I do that, I'm just gonna plan out my day. I'm just gonna take like five, 10 minutes to write down everything I need to do and potentially like put it into time slots because even if I don't follow it to a T, like it's just useful to me to have like a rough guide for the day. And then I can kind of like hold myself accountable to like stay on track. Also, it's gonna be like 22 degrees today. So I'm already feeling so warm. I'm gonna have to open the window. So here I'm just writing a to-do list for the day and I do this on Notion. Once you tick things off, it like crosses it out, which is kind of satisfying. Usually I write down like everything that I could do today that's probably too much. Like I've got too much on the to-do list here. Like I would not be able to do all of this in one day. And then I'm just making a rough schedule for myself. This just helps to structure the day and the order in which I do things is actually quite important for content because for example, the lighting in my room changes throughout the day and I need it to be a certain way for certain types of videos. And then also certain tasks require no makeup because I work for a skincare company and then some tasks I wanna be wearing makeup. So then I'll try and do the no makeup ones at the start of the day, if that makes sense. I've really been enjoying the gym recently. I go through phases of going really consistently and then not going for a couple weeks, but I really notice the difference when I do go. I think it's so good for my mental health and even like walking there and back in nature and in the sun, it's so nice. I find that I'm just so appreciative of like being outdoors in nature and also just moving my body, even though the gym is literally underground. <laughs> but I'd honestly really recommend this or just moving your body in some way, like going for a walk or something. It just helps to clear your head and reset that. My recent breakfast has been yogurt, granola, nuts, and berries. This is just such a nice summer breakfast. I'll put the recipe on the screen if you wanna try it out, but to be honest, it's not much of a recipe. It's more just like combining things together. And of course I have a coffee because I somehow can't get through the day without it now, which is really bad, but also like, I don't have time to skip the coffee. I've got stuff to do. Whilst I'm eating my breakfast, I am just doing some editing of some TikToks and Reels, and it also just helps me organize like what I've filmed, what I've edited already, and then I can like move on with the day and like get new stuff done, because sometimes I'll film loads in a batch at once, and then I'll kind of forget what I've done and what I've not. And I'll show you now how some of the TikToks that I filmed turned out. One of the main things I'm doing right now is product videos for the website to just show how to use the products. And this is actually a task I've had for so long and I've kind of done them very slowly over the past year. And now I'm like really like getting a move on with them. But I was thinking like, I'm actually glad I left it this long to properly do them all because looking back at one that I made a year ago is so much worse. Like I've improved loads with my content. So I'm really glad that I actually have taken my time with this. And now the majority of them are being done when I'm at my like 
peak, if that makes sense, or like peak for now. So this is an example of one of the ones that I did on this day. I actually shot so many products on this day. It took a while, but it was so worth it because the lighting was really good and I do prefer to get them done in like a batch. But the one that you see here is a toner and it's a vitamin C toner, which is why I've got the orange next to it. So I'm doing some basic shots of the bottle and then spraying it and spraying it onto my hand to show kind of like the texture slash how to use it. Something I didn't really think about before I was a content creator is the fact that the sun moves so quickly Like obviously I need the bright sunlight straight on the product and you can just tell from like the shadows and um, Like the positioning of the whiteboards that the light is just like constantly moving So when I'm in the middle of shooting something sometimes I'll have to like move around the set so that the shadows aren't in the photo Something useful that I use for when I'm doing the hand shots is I link my camera with my phone and create like a screen on my phone where I can see what's happening on the camera because it can be really difficult to look around the back of the camera and then like have your hands in front of it and like focus on what you're doing. That is one of the struggles of doing a shoot like all by myself is trying to be the cameraman and the model. Also the reason I've got fruits written on there is because I need to know which ones to buy to shoot each video with because what I do is I like choose a fruit that's an ingredient in that product. For example like grapefruit peel oil is an ingredient so I'll like shoot the video with a grapefruit so that it looks kind of fresh and aesthetic. I also just quickly filmed some content for Sunday of London which is a brand who gifted me these products. Oh the sun is coming out. I just caught the last bit of sun but this is going to disappear soon. So I'm going to carry on making content with these at the weekend. Um, but they are the most gorgeous candles like wow. I really wish you could smell them through the screen but they're absolutely incredible and I'm so excited to be working with this brand. I've just got ready and I'm gonna make lunch and show you one of my favorite recipes which has been like one of my go-to recipes for like probably two years now like ever since I've been a student and it's basically a creamy cashew pasta so like the creamy sauce is made of cashew nuts and it's honestly incredible so the pasta I'm gonna be using is just this red lentil penne you can obviously use normal pasta, but I just like this because it's like high protein. And then I'm just using some normal cashew nuts and I'm gonna soak these in boiling water. You can use any vegetables. I'm using courgette because this is the only vegetable I have in the fridge right now. After the cashews have soaked for like 10 to 20 minutes, I'm gonna drain them. First of all, how cute is this like colander? It's from Zara Home. I'm then gonna tip them into a blender and I'm gonna use any plant-based milk. This one's oat milk, but I usually use soya, but any will work. And then I'm just gonna pour that liquid into the courgette pan. And at this point I've switched off the heat because this will thicken up really fast in a hot pan so you don't need the heat on. And I'm also gonna pour the cooked pasta in. As it thickens really fast, I'm just adding some more oat milk. And the last ingredient is nutritional yeast, which is basically just like a cheesy flavor that you can add in. And you can just like taste to see if it has enough salt and pepper as well. I feel like it probably will from the courgettes and like all the flavor in the pan. But um, if you want more salt and pepper, obviously add it now. I wanna say this is probably like my favorite meal. Like if I don't know what to cook, I'll always cook this. And I feel like I always have the ingredients in the house cause like I always have cashew nuts in the cupboard and then I always have plant-based milk. And we are done, I'm gonna eat this now. I really 
love working at cafes because I feel motivated by the people around me like when there's so many people working on laptops and stuff I'm like yes need to get the work done and of course having the benefit of the nice drinks this time I got a blonde latte like the Starbucks blonde I think it's like a range of coffee it was really nice it wasn't that different to normal coffee what I was up to here is making an email and it was actually probably the most important email I've ever had to make because basically there was a problem recently with email sending, like on Gmail loads of stuff was going into spam. But we had to like do a whole thing with the domain, I won't go too much into detail. But this email had to be a really high engagement rate, meaning that like loads of people need to click on it and open it and like tap on the links and stuff to fix the issue that we were having. I had to make like an email that was like really engaging and like a topic that our customers would love and make the subject line kind of make people wanna click on it. So the idea I had was to go down like the route of hormones and like how hormones affect your skin because I know that lots of people are interested in that this is how the email turned out and by the time you're watching this video it has been sent out and it all went well it all went really well but um yeah i was a bit like stressed that it wasn't going to be like a good enough email but luckily it was it is nearly the end of the day and i just thought i would come to the park to finish the day because i did not know about this park until recently but it's so close to my house and it's beautiful like I'm annoyed that I haven't been here like the whole time I've lived in London. I never see people like with laptops at the park and I feel like there is a reason. I don't know, like can you work at a park? I guess you could. But yeah, anyway, for the last bit of the day, I'm just gonna be like researching TikTok trends so I can do that on my phone. So I'm not gonna get my laptop out. I also brought some strawberries with me and some vegan shortbread, like plant kitchen shortbread so good like i'd never tried them before until today and they're honestly incredible highly recommend Also brought along with me my goals and gratitude journal okay, i got this in typo you know the shop typo i mean i think you can get it online as well it was only like six pounds so it looks like this and it has morning intention and evening reflection so in the morning you write down your goals and then in the evening you write down what you're grateful for and i just love this so much i came to the park last night and i wrote down like everything i was grateful for so like the evening reflections and it's just so nice to do it in nature as well i feel like i don't know i just feel like good vibes here but i'm gonna do that and eat my snacks i've got my strawberries and cookies i was trying to save them till i finish work like i was trying to be like okay you need to finish this and then you can have the cookies and strawberries but yeah that is pretty much it for my day in the life i'm just gonna stay here for like an hour maybe and then go back and chill slash edit this video probably the internship that i'm doing right now actually ends in less than a month it ends um on the 10th of june but i'm fairly certain that i might carry on in the summer not full time but just still do a bit of work because i love it so much and to be honest i could use the money as well and also like i don't even have any plans for summer i'm going on holiday with my boyfriend which i'm so excited for we're going to tenerife for like a week um like an all-inclusive vibe which will be amazing but apart from that i don't have any plans oh and i'm turning 21 in august yeah i have nothing booked so i'm excited to like work a little bit in the summer and then hopefully make some other plans as well and also in august i'll be moving back to bath for uni i'm doing final year economics um at bath and that will be starting on the 3rd of october so I've got a long way until then, but I'm really excited to be back in Bath. I mean, I'm gonna miss London, but I love Bath just as much. Those are my plans. I just randomly told you my whole plans for the rest of the year, but 
hope you enjoyed. I had such an amazing time here sitting in the sun and doing my journaling and gratitude and I think it's so important to reflect on your life and look at what you have and just remember that everything you have right now is enough. Obviously I'm so so lucky and privileged but with any fluctuations in my life I always remind myself that I am where I'm meant to be and I've got everything that I need. I count my blessings and think about how grateful I am every single day and I think that is the key to a happy life is just to be grateful for the moment and everything that you have right now. I definitely think that's the case for me just taking a step back and looking at my life and being like wow I'm so lucky and just appreciating the little things. Thank you so much for watching this video and I just want to express my gratitude for anyone who watches my videos like I honestly appreciate you so much. I love sharing my passions on the internet and I'm very grateful for you being here so thank you so much and have a beautiful day.